Hello and welcome. Now that we uh, just downloaded and installed Protex Professional Software, you must go to the uh, software directory or to the installation directory for Protex Professional Suite. So if we want here to the C, if you have a 64 uh, bit operating system, you should go to program files. Uh, you should go to program files x86. But if you have a 32 bit, you will find only one. But since I, I have a 64, I will go here. Then go to Lab Center Electronics, then Brotus 80 Professional. Then inside this uh, folder, you will find a library folder. That's it. Uh, or you can simply go here to Brotus Professional, then More. Open file location again. Open file location, and you are inside the bin folder. Go back one step, and you are inside the library folder. Now, go here, copy these two, post them here inside the library folder. Now, let's start Brotus Professional software. <coughs> That's it. This is our software. Let's create a new project. Change the name to Arduino. And save it whenever you uh, wherever you want. Let's say inside the documents Arduino. The next. Okay, next. Oh. Let's go here. Create a new folder want to create it for us which is really dumb okay now we just selected that folder arduino click next 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 then finish now here is the user interface for Brotus professional software head here to the component modes click on the b letter then search for arduino as you can see here we have all of the Arduino boards, Arduino Mega, two versions, Arduino Mini, Arduino Nano, Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino Uno. So you can use any of these. We will, uh, we will use Arduino Uno. <coughs> Let's add a resistor and a LED. That's it. Now let's add this board. <coughs> <coughs> okay now let's add uh, a resistor to bin number 13 okay let me move this a little bit few okay that is our resistor to bin number 13 you can connect it ju just like big microcontroller now Let's add ground to this resistor. Okay. Now we connect it to RB5, which is number 13, uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor with a LED light bulb. For the sake of this explanation, I will add more resistors. Let's hide these two. Let's change this to 220 ohm and hide their labels. We can simply block copy these. Okay, let's let's see. Okay, we are grounding these pins. Okay. 
Now the simulation environment is good to go. Next, we will write our first code in Arduino and load it to this board. Thanks for watching. That's it for this lesson. If you have any question, ask in the Q&A board. This is Educational Engineering Team.